take my mask off so you can understand me a little bit better. My name is Claire, and I work at the Saskatoon Public Library, and I'm so glad you're here with me today. Oh, we're going to get to hear a story together or tell a story together. Now, I am in Saskatoon, or another way to describe where I am is Treaty 6 territory. And another way is to say that this is the traditional homeland of the Métis, and I'm so glad to be here with you today. Now, let's sing a hello song with our voices and with our hands. We can use American Sign Language. Now, some of you will know this very well and some of you will just learn it, but you'll learn it really fast. It goes like this. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Now I have a wonderful story for you today, one of my favorites. It is called Something From Nothing by Philby, Phoebe, Philby, no, Phoebe Gilman. And I have a sticker on this book that says it's the 20th anniversary edition. And I think this was bought a little while ago. So you know what? It's getting to be a pretty old book now, but it's a very good one. It's about a boy and his grandpa and something, a very special present. Now this very special present is a blanket. Do any of you have a special, maybe stuffy or a blanket that you like to cuddle that makes you feel very good when, when you have it? I do. I had a blankie that I love to keep with me. And I'll tell you a secret. I'm a grown-up and I still have it. And sometimes if I really need extra cuddling, I bring it out. All right, so are you ready to begin? Will you help me tell this story? There's some repeated phrases that I would love if you said with me. Okay, so let's give it a go. When Joseph was a baby, his grandpa made him a beautiful blanket. <gasps> to keep him snugly and warm and chase away all the bad dreams. Oh, and Joseph loved this blanket. He took it everywhere with him. He just loved it so much. But you know what? One day, his mother looked at the blanket, oh, and said, Joseph. It's really fun to say that really loud like that. Joseph, oh, look at your blanket. It's frazzled and worn. It's unsightly. Oh, it's torn. It's time to throw it out. Do you think Joseph wanted to throw it out, throw out his favorite blanket? He sure didn't. He wanted to keep it forever. And he looked at his mom and said, Grandpa can fix it. And he took his blanket and he ran all the way over to his grandpa's house. And he looked at his grandpa and his grandpa took it and he turned it. Can you hold out an imaginary blanket in front of you? And then we're gonna, he turned it round and round. He was thinking about what he could make with it. And he thought, hmm. And he got out his scissors. Can you get out your scissors? And he went snip, snip, snip. And he, his sewing needle went in and out and in and out and in and out. And he turned it into a beautiful jacket. Oh, well, Joseph wore that wonderful jacket right away. He wore it everywhere. He loved to show it off. But you know what? If you wear a jacket every single day and you're a growing boy, sometimes you grow right out of it. So one day his mother said, Joseph! Did you say it with me? Here, ready? One, two, three. Joseph, look at your jacket. It's shrunken and small. It doesn't fit you at all. It's time to throw it out. And Joseph looked at his mother and said, Grandpa can fix it. So he ran over to his grandpa's house and his grandpa took it and turned it round and round and thought about it. Hmm and his scissors, he took out his scissors and they went snip, 
snip, snip, and his needle went in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful vest. Oh, well, Joseph put it on and he wore it to school every day. He loved that vest. It made him feel so good. <gasps> but you know what? If you wear something every day, especially to school where you're working really hard and maybe doing some different projects and playing at recess, things wear out. His mother said, Joseph, look at your vest. It's spotted with glue and there's paint on it too. It's time to throw it out. Hmm. Joseph looked at his, his mother and said, Grandpa can fix it. He ran over to his grandpa's house and his grandpa turned it round and round. Hmm. And he took out his scissors and went snip, snip, snip. Hmm. And he took out his sewing needle and went zip, zip, so, 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 in and out and in and out and in and out. <gasps> Look, there's just enough material here to make a wonderful tie. Can you imagine? <gasps> well, Joseph put that tie on and he would wear it every Friday over to his grandparents' house for supper. Oh, and he loved that tie. But you know what? After a while, one day, his mother said, Joseph, look at your tie. That stain of soup makes the end of it droop. It's time to throw it out. Mm. Grandpa can fix it. And he ran over to his grandpa's house and his grandpa turned it round and round. Got out his scissors and went snip, 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 and got out his needle and went in and out and in and out and in and out. <gasps> There's just enough material here to make a wonderful handkerchief. <gasps> well, you know what Joseph used the handkerchief for? He kept all his wonderful treasures, his stones that he found, and maybe, maybe any of those things that you find. And he would keep it in his pocket right there with him all the time. Oh, well, it just made him so happy. Oh, but you know what? After a while, after a while, it kind of wore out. And one day his mother said to him, Joseph, look at your handkerchief. It's been used till it's tattered. It's, it's must and it's, it's splattered. It's time to throw it out. Grandpa can fix it. So he took that over to his grandpa's house. Run, 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 run. And his grandpa turned it round and round and took out his scissors and went snip, snip, snip. And his needle went in and out and in and out and in and out. There's just enough material here to make a wonderful button. A button. What a good idea. Now, Joseph used that button on his suspenders and he wore it every day and he loved it. But one day, the button was gone. His mother said, Joseph, where is your button? Oh, oh, and Joseph looked everywhere for it. Oh, oh, oh no. And he, he ran over to his, his, to his grandpa's house and, and his mother chased after it and said, Joseph, it's finished kaput. Even your grandpa can't make something from nothing. Which makes sense. It's pretty hard to make something from nothing. And his grandfather said, Joseph, your mother is right. Even I can't fix this problem. And so Joseph thought about it and he went to bed. But in the morning he woke up and he was smiling and he ran all the way to school and he took out his pen and he said, 
there's just enough material here to make a wonderful story. And it did, right? So that is Something from Nothing by Philby, I did it again, by Phoebe Gilman. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for helping me tell it. So we've come to the end of our story. So it's time to sing the goodbye song. Very similar to the hello song. I think you'll recognize it. It goes like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Have a great day.